Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well, and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. Actually, so many people asking me about which forex broker am I using in my videos, and I think the answer is very, very well known to be IC Markets Forex Broker. And I believe actually IC Markets is the best forex broker in the world. I mean, I have tried to find any other alternatives uh, for them, but. Uh, th two things actually first of all i couldn't find any and second of all i didn't need in the first place to find any replacement actually let me show you this one second so all of us if we log into our ic markets uh, if i if we log into ic markets uh, client area this is the first page is gonna come up i, th I think it's it showed up to everyone here who is using ic markets and actually this could be the best news from ic markets right now <clears throat> we have moved our profiles from IC Markets or AU or Australia to IC Markets Global, meaning we are free from the Australian regulations. I mean, that is perfect because right now we can still enjoy trading with the same services and same uh, features that we enjoyed always with IC Markets, such as the leverage 500 to 1, uh, the fast, very fast withdrawals, as you can see here. Um, can I deposit and withdraw funds in the same way as before? Yes, the same deposit and withdrawal options will be available to you. Actually, I have already transferred my account to IC Markets Global since a month ago, and I have put it under the test, and it's just the same. I mean, everything is just completely the same. There is absolutely no difference. And actually, right now, I feel more confident and more relieved because I know that I'm no longer under the Australian regulations. Really, really, IC Markets, no matter how you do, you will not, you will never find any better uh, Forex broker than IC Markets. In my opinion, they are the best in the world, and I really encourage everyone to uh, use their account, use their services. Uh, by the way, this is just an alternative account that I'm using. Um, I still didn't transfer the account because this is my another account. My main account, of course, has already been transferred since a month ago. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this so everyone will be in clear uh, picture about what's going on. And I believe IC Markets is going to still remaining to be the best Forex, Forex broker in the world. So back to our live trading session. Now, let's see what are the opportunities that are waiting for us. Actually, let me tell you something. I decided that I'm going to increase the live trading sessions I'm, I'm making every day, sorry, every week. And therefore, I believe we can try something. I want to try to make a live trading video e each and every day of the week. So this is going to help everyone to find more setups and to understand how actually I'm doing my live uh, tradings. Now, the first thing we can notice is that the, the dollar itself is falling. Meanwhile, the other pairs, uh, the pound is rising, by the way. The first thing we can notice here that the pound is rising. Uh, there is a strong bullish momentum happening right now on the pound. If we check the pound pairs, all of them are actually moving in a strong bullish momentum. All, 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 all of them, all of them. So therefore, what are the things we can do right now? Now, let's look at the pound USD. Now, on the pound USD, the very first thing we can notice right here is if I draw here a Fibonacci retracement, first of all, the market has actually broke out from Fibonacci 61.8. That is very good. By the way, I forgot to mention, uh, in these live trading videos, we are going to use two strategies. First one, going to be the 20 pips a day strategy. 20 pips a day strategy. The second one is going to be uh, almost the same as, as the 20 pips, but we are going to use FIBO um, 61.8 just to confirm our entries. So again, I'm going to use Fibonacci only to confirm my entry. And in general, I'm going to use 20 pips a day strategy, just a regular trading style for me. So anyway, now, as we can see, the market has actually uh, broke out from FIBO 61.8. That means that if we, if we look closer here, uh, by the way, I'm on the four hour time frame. If we look cl closer, we can see that we had right here a previous resistance and this was a previous support. The, this previous support level is going to be the best place actually to, play, uh, to place a buy order. This is going to be the best level to place a buy order. We have to wait for the pair to fall for about 16 pips before we place our buy order the thing is i just don't want to wait that much um since these videos are going to be almost on daily basis i want to make it really short therefore uh, i think it's better guys to save your time let me just now pause the recording and i'll be back to you to show you once i enter any trade 
Okay, so let me show you what I just found here on the gold. If I draw here a Fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this lower low, as you can see, the pair actually has made what seems like a breakout from Fibonacci 61.8, but eventually the market actually has failed to break out. Now, this breakout candle, remember guys, right now I'm on, I'm on the 15 minute time frame. Now, keep an, keep an eye on this guys, because right now the market has made actually a bearish breakout candle from that support that support has been actually created also on fibonacci 61.8 right now this candle is rising i believe that this candle is going to continue to rise for a little bit more just to hit the exactly same level of that previous resistance which is also by the way exactly same level as uh, fibonacci 61.8 remember i'm on the gold if we go to the four hour time frame we can see that the pair is right now ranging and right now we are on the peak of the resistance i believe right now on the resistance we can start actually shorting the pair so going back to the 15 minute time frame uh, our best entry gonna be after about seven pips only on the gold after it rises um to hit the previous support level on 61.8 okay yes it's rising um since i'm going to trade the gold uh, 0 0.30 lot size um, it's gonna be a little bit high but it's okay uh, let's make it 0 0.25 so I'm just gonna feel better about it because actually the gold uh, is risky and I know that the gold is rising this uh, week so I'm just uh, scalping the gold and hoping to get about uh, let's say about 20-25 pips only because if I place my trade right here uh, the nearest support to my entry is going to be, of course, this one right here. So this is going to be my target. So in this case, I'm going aim, to be aiming about 27 pips of profit, which is really worth it. So as you can see, the candle is rising. Yes, yes, it hit the target. Yes, perfect. And the sell has been placed. Now, quickly, before I do anything else, set your stop loss. So the stop loss is going to be, um, let's say, about... 27 pips almost as the same as the take profit level which is going to be as well almost 27 pips now of course guys there is nothing guaranteed so we just have to wait and see what will going to happen so actually i'm going to do something very interesting i will switch to the one minute time frame like that and right now i'm not going to pause the recording i'm going to just speed up the, the recording so let's now watch together how the market is going to actually uh, move and uh, react to this level so let's sit now and watch it together Alright, so until the gold trade finished, uh, let's see now if I have found here another trade that we can actually enter until the gold exp uh, trade finished. Um, looking at the pound CHF, pound CHF right now is approaching, actually it has exceeded Fibonacci 61.8 and right now it is almost hitting a previous support level exactly right here. Let me show you. So as we can see right here, my friends, this can, this wick right here, this week here of the support it was the nearest one to the bearish breakout candle right now the market is approaching the very same level of that previous support not only that but if we look at the left we can see that aha here we have also another resistance that means that this level most likely is gonna actually bounce at that level outside the market is gonna actually bounce at that level and reverse right from here so we can aim at least few pips until the market falls again to retest the broken level of 61.8 and after that we can get out with a good profit let me see how many pips uh almost between 11 to 12 pips only which is not really worth it but i think it's not bad idea to get some uh cash out of this deal so we just have to wait for the pair to fa to rise for another i think four maybe three uh three to four pips only uh, then after that we can enter this trade actually you know something i'm planning to uh open the trade right now 
I think I'm gonna opening the trade right now. If we switch to the 15 minute time frame, we can see that the pair has already hit. And yeah, 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 it's okay. I'm going to. Ah, oh, shit! The lot size is still the same. 0.25. I wanted to make it more. I wanted to make a 0 0.50. Hmm. Shall I enter another trade or not? That's the question. Because actually, it's it's really a good deal. I mean, this is the kind of setup that I'm always waiting for. And uh, seems like we can actually place another trade. Let me just increase it to make a 0 0.30. And yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna, it's okay. The losses, if, if if in case there was a losses, it's not gonna be a big deal. And anyway, it's gonna be uh, smaller anyway. So yeah, 10 pips from the first trade and 10 pips from the second trade as well means that okay hold on yes exactly so 10 pips 31 dollars plus 26 dollars about 58 dollars we can make from this profit so from this deal sorry so as we can see right now all of the trades are going in a good profit for for the gold is it go, it's going now also in profit of um 8 pips of profit <clears throat> pound chf also has bounced exactly where i have expected it uh, to, to reverse from so let's go back now to the gold uh, trade and let's switch to the one minute time frame and again let me now please speed up the video and let's watch together what is gonna what will gonna happen and as we can see guys the pair is moving very close to the take profit level uh, both of them actually were making very good profit from the uh, both of the trades and i think they will hit the take profit level in just few seconds one two uh if it doesn't hit it then i'm gonna close it manually i'm not gonna risk losing uh, this trade only because i'm hungry for a few more pips uh let's see it should it should yes yes it's already there and come on come on yes good good boy yes and it hit the take profit level and i think the second one is also going to be triggered as you can see it already yes perfect it already hit it but of course because of the spread it has to exceed it the, for about one more pip and but like that we have made quickly very few bucks i mean that is really good that is what i love about forex it's really like a video game and really i am enjoying this uh, life i'm enjoying this lifestyle and i hope everyone can wish <laughs> sorry can join me actually in this uh, lifestyle i mean it's really fantastic i love it i love it anyway we are back to the gold trade now let me again speed up the video and let's see together how this trade is gonna keep going and how we can actually exit this, this deal with a good profit <laughs> All right, so I believe we have to close the trade of the gold. I mean, the pair has already made three attempts to break out from 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And I believe the pair seems like after the rejection on that support level right here, we can see that we had here a strong support on 1734.40. On um, seems like the pair is actually gonna reverse after hitting that support and making many several attempts to break out of it. Let's go back to the 15 minute time frame. We can see that right now the gold is actually ranging on that level but however it seems like this previous resistance right here on 1734 seems like it's gonna actually become a new support look at that we can see that here here we had the previous resistance and right here the market actually is reversing and creating another support now under this pressure let me tell you something it is really the biggest mistake to be stuck in the middle between the battle of bears and bulls and therefore i think it is the right decision to make and just end this deal with a small tiny very small profit but thankfully we made also a good profit from the pound chf now um as i'm telling you uh, these videos hopefully gonna be uh, posted almost on daily basis so of course the profit you can see here is very tiny and very small um <clears throat> it's just a session and i just wanted to show you the setups please don't mind the small profit that i have made yes i made a very small profit it's not even worth to mention but the idea here the idea here is the setups how to how you can find these setups how you can actually make some profit by finding quickly these setups is the main target here in these videos so again i will really do my best to post these videos on daily basis it's not going to be easy but again i'm going to do my best and hopefully uh we can all <clears throat> start making uh, some profit together so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching